to my crazy kitchen. Today I am going to be attempting to cook Mickey pretzels. Now I've never cooked anything with dough, like bread or anything before, so this is a complete um, new experience for me and it's probably going to go horribly wrong. So I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. So this is what we're aiming for. Um, I don't have the rock salt, so we're not going to get the rock effect on the top, so that's the first misstep. Um, then I need to get some warm water, um, which obviously will cool down while I'm filming this, so I'm going to fill this up afterwards. It needs to be 110 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 45 degrees. Um, luckily my thermometer does Fahrenheit, so I can cheat that way. We've got 400 grams of flour. I've got flour to dust for kneading or anything. Uh, oil for um, non-stick purposes, an egg for the egg wash. Then we have a tablespoon of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, about um, eight grams of yeast, which is just a supermarket brown packeted yeast, which happens to be the right weight, and then 30 grams of baking soda, which will go in a pot of water. So we've also got a pot of water. I've got a tray to bake. I've got my hand mixer with my dough kneading attachments, which it says I can use, and then this is where we're going to start. So, what could possibly go wrong? There's lots of do this and then wait, so there's quite a lot of waiting with this kind of baking. Um, so, I apologise if things get a bit disjointed, because in about an hour I'm also going to start cooking my dinner. Um, so you may see like carrots and stuff flying around, they're not relevant there for my spag bowl. Um, but yeah, there'll be lots of waiting, so there'll be lots of putting stuff away, waiting and coming back, so let's see how this goes. We pull that into here, we add the yeast, and we'll come back in 15 minutes. Well, <clears throat> that really stinks. Um, it says to add in the sugar and the salt and then to beat slowly. Now, I, my mixer goes quite fast, so I'm going to hand mix to start with. And then it says to add in the flour. So I think this is another case where my recipe conversion hasn't worked because basically all I've got is flour. I'm going to add a bit more water because there's nothing else I can do. more like it. Well, I don't think anyone on Bake Off has got anything to worry about from me. So now we have to remove that. I need to put oil in there. Which isn't really much problem taking the dough off my fingers. Oh, flip. Right, and then this goes back. In here, it's too sticky, I think, but I've seen enough episodes of Bake Off to know that's too sticky. But now we cover it, 
This is in a warm place, so I'm just going to put it away from the window. Most of my kitchen's really warm. I think it's already gone horribly wrong. It wasn't supposed to, the kneading does not look like that, but obviously my attachment can't handle that. Um, so I'm just going to leave it now for 30 minutes and come back and muddle on. <laughs> Okay, folks, this is the moment of truth. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it has risen. Oh, yay. Ignore the tin tomatoes. Um, so, we've got a lightly floured surface. We've got a large pot coming to the boil, so I'm going to turn the dough out into a lightly floured surface, cut it into equal pieces. I don't get what it's, how it's saying to make this shape, so I'm just going to make them how I think. Okay, so it says cut it into eight equal pieces. I've halved the recipe, so four. Right, and then it says, roll the dough into a rough heart shape and then shape it into a Mickey shape. teddy bears than Mickey's but maybe I'll work on the ears before I put them in. Now this is the weird part for me, excuse my dinner, I've got to put bicarbonate of soda in there and then I have to like basically dunk the Mickey's for 15 seconds and then I have to egg wash them so first of all we're gonna dunk them and see what happens. This potentially could also explode everywhere. So now we have to put this in here for 15 seconds. So now what I need to do is just do an egg wash and then put them in the oven. So, I mean, they, uh, they sort of look, I do actually think the first one might be closest to the better one. That's the disaster that, now I know why she says don't do it that way, because it didn't work. But I need to do an egg wash now. There we go. Bye bye. Three minutes to go, excuse my extractor fan. They're looking a bit on that. Actually, I might swap them over because those aren't as cooked. Okay, folks, ignore the dinner cooking. And it is only 5.17. This is just one of the clocks that stays 
wrong for a few days before one of us can be bothered to change it. Here we go. I'm actually going to put the camera down because this is quite hard. I'm actually quite impressed, you know. The good news is they're baked all the way through, so I don't have any soggy bottoms. Well, at least not on that baking tray. Anyway, these ones are actually, I think, a little bit burnt. I mean, you wouldn't know they were Mickey, would you? That one, which actually fell apart, is probably which way up is that, do we think? That way? Yeah, that way. So I think they're more bear shaped than Mickey shaped, but um, once they've cooled down a little bit I'll have a nibble, but I am cooking my dinner, so I'm not going to eat a whole one. Okay, I'm going to give it a go. Oh, I'll just put you right next to the extractor fan. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to pull the ear off this one, which is the last one I did, which I did the wrong way, but kind of looks the best, and we'll see what happens. Here we go. <laughs> well, I never. The dough is cooked. It's airy. It's not raw. Woohoo! Mmm! Considering I fudged that. No, it's not salty, but that's because I didn't have the rock salt to put on the top. Um, yeah, tastes good.